Hi, this is Ravi of Ravi Plays Games. Today we're going to take a first look at Lemon Cake. Lemon Cake is a casual management baking sim developed by Cozy Bee Games, which was released in February of 2021. This is my first time playing the game, so we're going to go ahead and just jump in together. Looks like some of these have more options than others. It looks like you can have a fairly androgynous look if you like. I'm a sucker for the puffy buns. They're super cute, so I'll do that. It's a very cozy look. Oh, now I can't see my socks. Um, it's not letting me choose the apron or hat. I am, of course, Ravi. So here we go. WASD to move around. Left shift and sprint to. Oh, that is fast. Spacebar to interact with ghosts. Miss Bonbon. Now the greenhouse is in ruin, the kitchen is a mess, and the store is empty. Sure, I could totally bake a lemon cake. Baking is an art. It will take you ages. Oh, okay. My name is Ravi. The Apprentice Baker. Let's sweep up the kitchen. Alright, picking up the broom. Um, space bar seems to pick things up. And space bar works for interacting. This game is available on consoles, so I'm sure it would have its own commands there, but so far it seems to all be stuff I can do uh, just with my left hand with WASD and spacebar and left shift. I'll tell her I cleaned up. Look how shiny the floor is now. Okay. Starting with something easy, a French baguette. I've attempted to make baguettes. I don't know if I would classify them as easy for me in real life, so hopefully it's easier in the game. Just as long as I don't burn it. That's not usually my problem. Pick a recipe. Oh, okay. So I just pressed the number one, which was on the French baguette down in the corner in the lower left. Some flour, putting it in the bowl. I'm still doing this all with WASD and oh, mix ingredients. Okay. Yep. Space bar seems to be my interact key. Pick up some firewood. And there we go. Oh, there's a little clock over the oven. Looked like there was a burn timer. I've seen that in a lot of cooking games. Can't ignore things for too long. Of course, it's not as good as yours used to be. Oh, oh. What does that mean? A customer. Oh. Okay. We're already diving right into serving customers, apparently. Serve the customer a French baguette. Well, here, I happen to be carrying one. Alright. We will run back to Miss Bonbon and let her know. What do I need to do? Clean up the table, of course. Okay. Well, she's still eating. I'm not gonna... Question. All right. Act Miss Bonbon. That's a lot of faith. We can restore the bakery and even bake a lemon cake. But for now, she's added a sweet roll to my menu has two ingredients and a marshmallow twist. Candy is the easiest to prepare as it doesn't need to be baked. 
but it also doesn't sell for quite as much, so keep that in mind. Okay, so not the way to get rich. Got it. I can hear the bell ringing, more customers coming in. Okay. Well, that's nice. She's going to keep the ingredients stocked. Um, so it looks like I won't necessarily have to do that part. Don't forget to open your bakery so customers can come in and order pastries. Open the bakery. I'm not sure how to access that. I'm going to go ahead and click that with the mouse because I... I'm not sure what key pine would get me up there, if any. The store is now open. Here we go, a customer. Oh, it's even got the little bell over the door, that's nice. Alright, miss, what would you like? Got some hot bubbles. An oven is out of firewood. Um, okay, I guess I'll... Keep myself busy here. Oh, there's her order. Number two. Okay, I need flour and sugar. Mix, mix, mix. Wait. Oh, my floor is dirty. You've got time to lean. You've got time to clean. All right. Take this out to the customer, and we have another customer who's still deciding. The last one just showed up in here. Oh, here we go. Oops. Um, that must be the seat number of the customer with the number one. Last time it kind of lined up to what the person wanted, but oops, I just sprinted right into the wall. Anything else that I need to be doing? You sold the pastry. Okay. I cleaned up. Another table needs to be cleaned up, but oops. Don't mean to rush you, ma'am. Alright. Oh, I've got some little icons here. Looks like a clean up symbol. Bad. Okay. Oh, an oven is out of firewood. Is that what that... An order was placed. Uh, table 2 wants a marshmallow twist. Let's get that going. Oh! Oh, I did not mean to pick up the measuring cup. And table 1 wants a sweet roll. Flour. Mix, mix, mix. Bake. And somehow I got flour on the floor. I'm a messy worker, apparently. Oh. Pick a recipe. She'll add it to a book. Sweet pretzel. That sounds delicious. Let's get that. It actually does sound really good right now. Um, I think that she said she keeps this stuff stocked, so I don't know if I can just kind of preemptively wood in the stove so it doesn't run out. The table needs to be cleaned up. Okay. I feel like I'm keeping up okay so far, but I have a feeling that it might get more challenging at some point. What is she going to want? They're both thinking. Think, think, think. Three. I keep trying to walk over to the section where it shows the recipes instead of just starting the cooking. I think with a little practice I'll get faster at these controls, but not totally intuitive for me. I'm having to think about them a fair amount.
I think the part that's confusing for me is like down in the menu. Um, there's the numbers. Oops, sorry, customer. Um, but then when they order, it has their seat number associated on there, and I keep trying to click on seat number and open the wrong recipe or something. I don't know. Let's see. Daily report. I baked some pastries. I didn't burn any. That's good. Served seven customers. Five perfect orders. I don't know how you get a perfect order. Um, two good orders. Okay. Menu. Let's see. These recipes will be in your active menu tomorrow. So it looks like you can adjust your menu from day to day. What did I pick up? Sweet pretzel? Maybe, um, can I change? Okay, if I do X on the sweet roll, I add the sweet pretzel like that. For tomorrow? Okay. Shop. I only have one option. Display a pastry in your store window. Uh, looks like it costs five twenty-five, and I've got fourteen thirty-two, so I can afford that. Place a pastry by the store window. And watch as more people stroll in the store. If they don't have time to sit down, they'll just pick their favorite pastry from the display counters. So that means I probably have to monitor that to keep it stocked. Be sure to prepare a few pastries before the lunch rush starts. Where am I going to put them? What is this? Additional pastry? New outfits. I don't think I need new outfits. A new counter to place items down in the kitchen, but I don't have enough funds. So that's something to save up for, I guess. Grow a cocoa tree and harvest chocolate to use new recipes. It did talk about a greenhouse and growing ingredients. Let's see. Cocoa tree. Where is the greenhouse? Water your tree from time to time. Okay. Go through those reports. Oh. Boarded over window. I wonder if I get to, uh... <laughs> My room's a little messy. Do I get to improve this at some point or clean it up? Let's see if I can interact with anything. No, not even the cup of coffee sitting on my stack of boxes. Okay. Oh, hold on. That, oh no, that's just where the orders appear. Wow, there's already flour on the floor and I wasn't here to make a mess. What? Here's the greenhouse, okay. Hmm, I can't. Oh, I just picked up a. I don't. I don't think any of my recipes use this. Let's see. Ah, garbage can. Definitely had that in other baking games. Um. Oh, I have a window display. I need. Wow! Flower. Oh. When there's flower on the floor, you go really slow through it. So I guess that's a good argument for cleaning up the floor so you can keep up. What should I pre bake for the window? I'll do this sweet pretzel. Kind of picky, I have to be facing the thing I'm interacting with, which makes sense. I just, um, I'm still a little clunky at the controls, so hopefully I will improve with that. Alright, I'm going to put this in the window, and I will open the bakery.
of an Asana fairy wood. I do like how the, um, I like the interface for the menu where you select what you're cooking by hitting a number so that you um, are making the right things. It's a fairly simple set of ingredients. You would like a marshmallow twist as well. Isn't that what I have in the window? It's evening. Can I take it? Oh, I can. Time to learn a new recipe. I have that chocolate tree, so... Yeah, chocolate cookie. There we go. Let's clean. While we wait for her. table needs to be cleaned up. It's very prompt in telling you those messages. Like, she was still sitting there and was telling me that. Okay. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, my tree is brown. Oh. Good job. Alright. Let's report menu. I did unlock that new chocolate thing. I don't know if I want to have all sweets, but I only know the bread. <laughs> it's my only non-sweet thing. It's fine. Everything's fine. What can I buy? Oh, do I have enough for this? Yes, I want that. Kitchen counter. Yes. I've definitely utilized that in other games having kind of staging areas. I don't have coins for anything else, so we'll just move on to the next day. Your game was saved successfully and prepare for the day. Okay. Once again, mess on the floor. And I wasn't even here. Okay. Oh, did I? Oops. Well, that was weird. It was still showing the marshmallow twist even though I removed it from the menu. And that had me a little worried. Where do I get the... I guess I need to go... Oh, hopefully I... Oops. I accidentally clicked with my mouse and my spacebar and dropped my water. I don't, um, hmm. Oh, oh, there we go. I was like, I don't see a chocolate bean. I wonder if the order matters. Nope, got a green check mark. Seems to be okay. I like that I'm, the time is not moving. I seem to be able to just do as much preparation as I want and open the bakery when I'm ready. Put this in the window. I guess I'll go ahead and open. You know what? I wonder. I want to try something. Yes, so you don't actually have to click on uh, the preparation thing with any with the mouse or anything to open the bakery. I walked over to the door and interacted with the front door and that opened it. So that's handy. I will say I love this type of game, but it tends to be <laughs> something that I usually have to play for a little bit to get my groove so that I can keep up when I start adding a whole bunch of complexity. Did all the things out there? What? 
Inspect the mustache. He's a ghost. Okay. Hmm. Bugs. I don't think I saw any. No, oh, he's gonna give me gold for every bug that I get. In a minute. Oh, this is gonna be a do it fast kind of thing. Okay. <laughs> this is where my lack of being adept with these controls is gonna factor in. Oh my goodness, how many are there? Oh, I should check the, um... Oop. Ah! Let me try to check the greenhouse. Oh, there's tons in here. Eleven. Okay. I feel like I probably could have done better at that, but I kept aiming myself the wrong way. Gotta keep it clean, or he'll shut me down. Ah! Nope, I found the eggs, and that is too expensive for me, so... I need to not put eggs Benedict on the menu yet. I think for now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this first look video. We've gotten an idea of how the structure is gonna build in terms of there's more opportunities for plants in the greenhouse. There was like strawberries and cherries at the next tier of the tree of things that I could purchase in the store. The customers are starting to come faster and more quickly and I have more opportunities for kind of facilitating the speed of how I serve. I can have more window displays. It looks like I'll be able to add another table potentially. And it talked about a kitchen pass through to make it faster to uh, send dishes between the kitchen and the bakery. So there's definitely a lot of things that are going to make it both more challenging and more easy to meet those challenges as you progress through the game, like is pretty typical with games like this. I really like the art. Miss Bonbon's cute. I've had a fun time playing. I don't even know how long I've been playing. I just kind of got sucked in and I was like, oh, I've played several days now. Maybe it's time to kind of take a look and assess and see how it feels so far. And it feels good. I've had a lot of fun. If you're interested in this type of game, if you like cooking games or sim games or just kind of cozy games, you might want to check this one out. For now, if you enjoyed this first look, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you back soon. Goodbye for now from Ravi at Ravi Plays Games.